So we just got the news that Daniel Destin Craig, the director of Shang Chi and the Ten Rings, is gonna direct Spider-Man 4. And this is really good news. He's a very safe choice, but I still think he can bring in some size to the movies. So, for the longest time, we it's been speculated who is gonna direct Spider-Man 4. So, it used to. So some people were saying Sam Raimi. Then it was rumored that Justin Lin was in talks. And, uh, but now we have a real that that's going to be Daniel Destin Craig. Now, Daniel Destin Craig was the director of Shang Chi, right? Well, he was also scheduled to direct Avengers 5 King Dynasty, when it was still called King Dynasty. But as we know now, it, the MCU has shifted focus and will not be focusing on Doomsday. And Secret Wars will, will remain Secret Wars. But we got the Russo brothers for that now, since Marvel has brought them back. And it, it has re it was reported yesterday that the, uh, Daniel Destin Craig was going to direct Spider-Man Four. Now this is a good now this is good news for many reasons. He he brings a lot of personality to the Shang Chi movie. He knows how to direct wall action. And the Shang -Chi, the Shang Chi movie was one of the only movies that the audience could get behind on post Endgame. So this is good. We have a nice director. And uh, we don't know what the script is yet. We don't. We st we're still figuring out whether it's going to be a multiverse movie or um, a, a grounded movie. Sony has yet to release that information to us. But this is gonna, but this is good news because, oh well, that's not good news. But I mean, like Venom has had many reshoots as of lately. And his movie comes out literally in less than two months. L maybe less than one month. I have to look at the release date again. But Venom is doing reshoots. And they had a, they added an end credit scene. And we don't know what that end credit scene is going to be yet. But yesterday Tom Holland posted on his social media a photo of him captioned Secret Shoot Day. And then the, day, the very next day... We saw a video on Twitter. You can you can look it up on Twitter. It's it's everywhere, but but he it was a video of him walking inside Amy Pascal's office in the uh, in the Universal lot, and she has produced all the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies and a lot of Sony movies as of right now, and she is very integral to the so to the Tom Holland Sony movies because she has the final say in what things happen. So. A lot of fans saw the video and we're speculating is he gonna make an is Tom Holland gonna make an appearance in the post credit scene of Venom The Last Dance? Is is Venom gonna be in Spider Man 4? So many people are speculating that the way they're gonna bring back the way they're gonna bring Spider Man and Venom together is by multiverse. And that doesn't and that was and that doesn't mean that Toby and Andrew will be coming back. They might not have plans for them, and I'm fine. If they don't come back, it's fine. Now, I would have personally liked it if they went for the Kingpin Daredevil route, but if we get Spider-Man with Venom uh, more through multiverse shenanigans, if it's Daniel Distin Craig, I'm I'm down. You know, like, like, I, like part of me was terrified what, what the, who the director was gonna be, but if it's gonna be him, just just give me the movie. Let me watch it. Let me see. Let, let me let me come up with my own opinion. And I'll judge for myself, but yeah, what do you guys think of the Daniel Liston Craig being the the Spider-Man 4 director? But yeah, this movie is looking to begin filming literally early 2025 and is set to release 2026 or 2027, but this movie is full on rolling.